welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my reaction to my first ever YouTube video. Um, I've seen these all over YouTube and I think they're awesome videos to watch. I think mine in particular is going to be quite impressive because my first YouTube video was five years ago. I've been on and off of YouTube for five years, um, which is crazy, but I think it's such a fun way to look back on your life, like who this person was. I mean, it's so crazy. Five years ago, I had a lip ring, I had the short haircut, I was single, living in my college apartment. Now I'm married and we have a cat. Or we have two cats and a dog and a house and like I have this beauty room. It's so crazy to think of how much your life can change in five years. So I think this is a really fun look back at who I was back in the day. And this was really when I was first getting into makeup so I don't think I had anything too fancy. Um, but I'm so excited to watch this because I haven't seen it in a long time and I don't know what I'm going to say or what I'm going to do and this is um, about as tech savvy as I can get so I'm going to play this to you guys on my iPad and hopefully the sound will work and you'll all be able to hear me. Let's see if I can turn this up as much as possible but let's get into the video. Okay so really quick I want to give you guys some background information. Like I said this was my college apartment so this is actually my college room and I think I filmed this on my webcam and as you can see I have all these posters on the back so I have my little Tom's shoes bag and just like some magazines and like this poster like of some flowers so weird and I had a lip ring. I'm still wearing the Karen necklace because I've had that forever um, but yeah let's go play it. Let's see. Okay, so first of all, I sound really shy and awkward, which I think is kind of cute, to be honest. But uh, yeah, I used to be a fashion blogger or like a self-claimed fashion blogger, but I had this blog for the longest time. It's called Crazy Love for Clothes. Then I switched to That's So Charming, and I, I was doing the YouTube thing on the side too because I just love social media. If you guys have been following me for a while, that's something you know about me. So yeah, I used to write this blog, and this is me talking about how people had asked me about the makeup I wear on my blog. So. Let's get into it. Most people that have to take off their makeup um, when I go to bed at night. So I just discovered, well, I used to use like the cheap makeup remover. And every time I come out of the shower, I used to have like eyeliner just like dripping down my eyes. So I really needed that. And I finally found like really good um, instant eye makeup remover by Sephora. This stuff was like nine bucks, but it's totally worth it. Um, cause That's funny because I actually still use the Sephora brand eye makeup remover. So if you're looking for a good eye makeup remover, that stuff is still really good. And it's a whopping $9. So on a college student budget, that was like some high-end shit, okay? Keep that in mind. Um, it's, uh, hard candy. Um, it's really light on the face. It's, it's like very, like, silly candy. It's good, I guess. Um, 
Okay, so yeah, I used to use powder foundation, which is so weird because I could never use a powder foundation, but that foundation I still remember was really good and Urban Decay. I think this was five years ago, so it would have been 2017, 16, 15, 14, 13, 2013. And I went to Hawaii in like 2009 and I went to a mall in Hawaii and there was an Urban Decay rep that like sold me a shit ton of Urban Decay products and that was a lot of money as a college student but I was so intrigued that I bought it all and then that's how like my love for Urban Decay started. So I kept using their products which is how I had like an Urban Decay concealer and I think they still make those concealer pencils but right now my favorite concealer by Urban Decay is definitely the Naked Skin Concealer but I've always been an Urban Decay junkie and it's so funny. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a lot more Urban Decay products in this video. Um, so then I did that. Um, I also have like, um, this, uh, liquid, um, uh, makeup from Victoria's Secret that I just use when I'm like, like this is expensive stuff and then this is like, oh, I'm going to the grocery store and need to cover up my face and then I also have the Maybelline Fit makeup also just like for random purposes. Um, so once I use that, And the coolest thing about this palette is all these colors are like magnetized, so they pop out and then they come, it comes with this little box where I can like stick in like six colors that I just want to take with me, so it's really cute. Okay, I totally remember that palette. This is so funny. Because I thought I remembered everything I talked about in this video, but I completely didn't. And it's so, so funny. It's so blurry, P.S. So hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm going to have to watch the footage back, but... Oh my god, so, this is so crazy watching this video. Nice shade baked wearing 
Um, and uh, that's like a fun little experiment. Um, I use gel liner for that. This is Maybelline, um, New York. Like, it's like cheap mom. Okay. So it's really fun to see all the products I use because I still have some of these products. I don't use them anymore, but they're in my collection still from this time. And also I have some products I've repurchased. So that's really cool to see. Um, I'm really bad at wing liner with gel eyeliner. So I can only imagine what I had going on back in the day. Sometimes I'm really bad at wing liner just in general, but I do love the effects. So it's funny that I said I use gel liner because that's the last thing I want to use to do wings because they always turn out thick when I try to use gel liner. No matter how small of a brush I get and how precise I try to be, it never works out for me. So if you guys are interested in re-watching that video, because of course it was so great and high quality, I will go ahead and link it down below. But yeah, isn't that crazy? That was like five years ago me. So I was, how old? I'm 28 now, so I was 23? Which is hard to believe. I don't think, is that really only, like I felt like a lot younger in that video. Hmm, yeah, it's weird. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that, watching me embarrass myself on the internet. Super fun times, but uh, yeah, I love YouTube. I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave me a comment down below with your first YouTube video if you're a YouTuber or if you have already recreated this video. I would love to see that too. Thanks guys, have a good day, bye.